United Ortho is excited to introduce to you its new functional knee brace, the FKB. Hello, my name is Mark Howard. I'm the Vice President of Orthopedics for United Ortho. I began my career as an athletic trainer for the San Diego Chargers and then transitioned into a large orthopedic practice to run their DME program. While in that position, I worked directly with patients and had the opportunity to assist physicians in orthopedic surgeries. From there, I continued my career at Bragg and spent over 14 years in product and business development in the orthopedic industry. As I look back over the development of the functional knee brace over the past 30 years, I'm very excited about the FKB as I truly believe it's an outstanding brace. As you know, the best functional knee braces serve to 1. Limit excessive varus valgus motion, 2. Prevent knee hyperextension, and 3. Limit excessive anterior tibial translation at the knee joint. A significant amount of research, development, and functional testing went into the design of the FKB. Like a number of other braces on the market, it offers the highest level of support and protection. However, the FKB is very different from other functional knee braces. The greatest benefit the FKB provides to clinicians and users is improved patient compliance. Due to its technologically innovative design, the FKB is the best fitting, most comfortable, and easiest brace on the market to apply and remove. In a nutshell, the patient doesn't wear the brace because they don't like it. The brace cannot provide any protection. This was evident during my early years with the Chargers. In 1979, Dan Fouts, our starting quarterback, injured his knee in a preseason game. It took a couple of weeks of rehab before he was ready to return to play. However, before we had let him return to the field, we felt he needed protection to prevent re-injury. Taping alone was not supportive enough, so we got him the only brace that was available at the time, the Linux Hill knee brace that was worn by Joe Namath. After the first time he wore the brace in practice, he promptly threw it in the trash can. There was no way he was going to wear a big bulky brace that hindered his performance. What he needed, but didn't exist back then, was a brace that provided superior protection while at the same time was comfortable and didn't impede knee function. United Ortho's FKB meets these needs. When we introduce the brace to people, we like to start by letting them know that Jeff Mason is responsible for the design and manufacturing concepts of the FKB. In his former life, Jeff was solely responsible for all the initial designs and manufacturing methods of the rigid bracing lines for both DJ and Bragg. Jeff holds over 50 patents for orthopedic products and has more experience in the orthopedic bracing and cold therapy areas than anyone in the field. Needless to say, we are very excited to have Jeff designing our braces. The FKB is a feature-rich product that is highly differentiated from the competition. Perhaps the greatest differentiating feature is the living hinge located on the medial side of the rigid thigh cuff. This patent-pending innovative feature is what we call OptiFit technology, and I'm looking forward to explaining how it works in just a minute. Another notable innovative feature on the FKB are the quick-release buckles. Not only do the quick-release buckles make for an easy application and removal process, but they also perform a few other innovative functions, which I will explain shortly. Before we started the design of the FKB, we conducted in-depth market research to understand how we could improve upon existing functional knee braces. We discovered that there are three main reasons why patients don't like or refuse to wear their functional knee braces. The three most common complaints are that their brace, one, pistons and migrates, two, is bulky and heavy, and three, it is difficult and time consuming to use. With these three common complaints in mind, United Ortho set out to develop an innovative functional knee brace that would address these issues and improve patient compliance. Their number one reason patients don't want to wear their brace is due to pistoning and migration. 
Most of the braces on the market today piston up and down as the knee moves through flexion and extension. This pistoning movement often leads to rubbing and chafing, resulting in skin irritation and the equally irritating problem of brace migration. The FKB is different from other functional knee braces because it eliminates both pistoning and migration through the use of a living hinge located on the medial side of the rigid thigh cuff. The living hinge allows rotation of the medial strut, which promotes a natural multiplanar motion of the knee during flexion and extension. Additional details of the living hinge will be discussed in just a moment. By far the greatest challenge with traditional functional knee bracing is migration. The main reason that these knee braces migrate is due to antiquated design and technology. These older braces are designed with non-adjustable thigh and calf cuffs, as well as rigid medial and lateral struts. This design requires for a brace to flex and extend freely that the hinges must be parallel and the joint centers be on a single axis. By definition, this causes the brace to move in a single planar motion during flexion and extension. Let's call this single planar motion mechanical system one. However, as you know, the knee is a complex joint and does not move in a simple plane. The natural motion of the knee is multiplanar during flexion and extension. Call this mechanical system two. These two mechanical systems conflict with one another. While wearing a traditional brace, one of two things can conceivably happen. Either the knee is forced to track in a single plane by the brace, or the brace follows the knee's natural motion. In reality, the brace follows normal knee motion. This misalignment of the two mechanical systems causes the brace to piston up and down during normal flexion and extension. As a result, the patient experiences rubbing, chafing of the skin, and ultimately, migration of the brace down the leg. The solution to preventing migration was to develop a brace that allows normal multiplanar knee motion, while at the same time preventing the abnormal knee motion, such as excessive varus valgus, hyperextension, and excessive tibial femoral translation. We have accomplished this with the FKB, by developing OptiFit technology. Through significant research and development led by Jeff Mason and his team of engineers, we have developed OptiFit technology. Simply put, OptiFit technology, which is a living hinge at the medial aspect of the thigh cuff, permits the knee to move through its natural multiplanar motion during flexion and extension. The living hinge allows for long axis rotation of the medial strut, which is the crucial element in permitting the brace to track the knee's normal motion while retaining the strength necessary to support the knee. By design, the medial and lateral hinges are not parallel, but instead are offset to mimic the natural anatomy of the knee. As a result, the frame of the FKB contours to individual anatomy, while at the same time, it allows for circumferential changes in the leg as the muscles contract and relax. This innovative design eliminates brace pistoning and the resultant migration. The second reason patients don't like wearing functional knee braces is because they are bulky and heavy. Most of the off-the-shelf functional knee braces on the market today have gaps between the brace and the leg, particularly at the knee. In addition, these braces are often so big that patients cannot wear them underneath their clothing. This leaves the user with a sense of having something too big on their leg, and if it's one of the heavier braces on the market, they won't even wear it. That's the definition of non-compliance. The FKB addresses these issues. When we field tested the FKB, one of the remarkable findings was the degree to which the same medium brace would contour and give an intimate fit to very differently shaped legs without being manipulated by the applier. To illustrate this, 
Here is an image of three different legs, all of which fit a medium size FKB. Notice how different each individual leg is shaped. Now let's take a look at the same legs with an FKB applied. As you can see, the FKB provides an intimate fit to each individual leg right out of the box. It should be noted that the applier made no adjustments to the brace prior to fitting these patients. Also, by contouring to individual anatomy and allowing for natural movement of the knee through multiplanar motion, the FKB provides the perfect solution to prevent pistoning and migration. In addition, the FKB only weighs 18 and a half ounces, making one of the least bulky and lightest braces on the market. The final reason patients don't like wearing functional knee braces is because they are difficult and time consuming to use. Most braces on the market today use the traditional D-ring and Velcro closure, which makes applying and removing the brace difficult and time consuming. Every time you want to put the brace on, you are faced with the hassle of detaching the strap's hook from whatever it may have been attached to, such as other straps or your gym bag. Then you have to feed the strap through the D-ring, up to six times on some braces. Then to take the brace off, it is the same difficult, time-consuming process in reverse. First detaching the hook and loop closure, and then pulling the strap back out of the D-ring. The FKB, on the other hand, comes equipped with yet another patent-pending feature that makes applying and removing the brace much easier and faster, the quick-release system. The FKB straps are looped through the quick-release D-ring and attached back to itself using hook and loop tabs. To apply the FKB, you simply insert the male side of the quick-release into the slot and adjust the fit using the hook and loop. To remove the brace, you simply push four quick release buttons and you're out. As such, when the FKB is put in a sports bag or closet, the hook tabs don't attach themselves to any loop in the area. This makes putting the brace back on much faster and convenient, eliminating the frustration of dealing with tangled Velcro straps. Another great feature of the quick release system is that it allows the straps to rotate enabling the brace to better contour to the conical shape of the leg. This patent pending innovation allows the straps to better fit individual anatomy and provides more contact with the leg, which makes it more comfortable and also helps prevent migration. Since the launch of the FKB earlier this year, we have received a few questions we'd like to address. The first question is, can users wear the FKB while playing contact sports? The answer is yes. The brace has been specifically designed to withstand high impacts. In fact, we've conducted studies to test the durability of the quick release buckles, which illustrate their strength under impact and stress testing. Another question we received is, how easily can the buckles be disengaged unintentionally? In our initial design, we determined that we wanted the buckles to withstand the forces seen in high impact sports. Our rigorous testing has shown that the quick release buckles do in fact meet these high demands. Additionally, we specifically designed the quick release button to be internally mounted on the medial strut which prevents inadvertent occurrences, such as accidental bumping causing the disengagement of the buckles. Our engineering team also had the forethought to design the quick release buckles 
to release only upon intentional disengagement. First, let's review the release button itself. Do you see how small the button is? The button was intentionally designed to only allow disengagement when a fingertip depresses the button below the surface of the brace. As you can see here, we have a straight edge depressing the button to the surface of the brace frame. However, the quick release buckle will not disengage unless the button is depressed below the surface of the brace frame. Furthermore, the button cannot be depressed below the surface of the brace frame unless the object depressing the button is as small as the size of a fingertip. Another often asked question is, how many types of FKB styles are available and what are the differences? There are three types available. The different style types are the anterior frame, the step-through frame, and the PCL frame. All of these braces are designed to prevent abnormal motion and protect the ligaments of the knee. Style choices are based upon physician preference. Additionally, we have a custom option available for all three styles coming soon. The last point I want to highlight is price. We realize that healthcare is changing and reimbursement continues to be a challenge. Our goal at United Ortho is to provide superior, innovative products, while at the same time, help our customers reduce their costs. Accordingly, we price the FKB at approximately 30% below the market leaders. We invite you to give the FKB a try and compare it to the brace you are currently using. We're confident that our design will outperform any other brace. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about the FKB and allowing us to show you why it is the most advanced functional knee brace on the market. If you have further questions or would like to place an order, please contact your United Ortho rep or call United Ortho customer service at 800-227-8748.